Hey, what's up, Amber? It's Skull Mystic. In the first two parts of this mini series on the Raven Ranger Spellments, first of all, we did a pack opening vid to see how many of them we're going to get. Then I did a second video on exactly what it was that you were getting for your money. This time, I'm going to have a horse parked right in front of me while I'm doing this video. Never mind. Uh, this time, I'm going to make the spells and use the spells comparable to a same pip cost spell that we get normally just just as we go along questing something that doesn't cost us money we're going to see basically here if what we're getting is worth the money we spent all right in this video uh being as i don't have a myth i'm going to do the storm spell I'm going to do the Myth spell, and I can't really talk about that as much because I don't have a Myth character to put it on. But I'm going to do the Storm spell and the Myth spell on my Storm, and then I'm going to do the Life spell on my Life. So I'll be cutting out in the middle when I switch characters to my Life, and that's fine too. I want, Like I said, I want to do a comparison here to see what's really worth what. All right, first things first, let me go ahead, because I have the Spellments for it, let me go ahead and make the spells. I'm not going to, of course, not going to, as, as I said, not going to make the life on this character. I'll do it on the next one. All right, so we need the very surprise. Yes, the next tier being the only tier. Yes. Now, I have to admit, I like the effect. I think the effect is really cool. I'll give it that. I'm going to go ahead and do the myth one on here, too, as well. Uh, again, like I said, um, I, because I don't have a myth character... I understand that I'm not going to be benefited from the, benefiting from the, the myth bonuses and the same stuff as that as I would. But I'm going to probably pull a 4-pip uh, a TC that a myth would commonly have anyway. And we'll use that for our comparison. Let me go ahead and make the myth spell here. There it is. That one I, I'm not as worried about. Number one, I don't have a myth. Number two, it seems like I got more of those spell ones than anything else, really. I really do like that effect. All right, so let's go and find ourselves a boss that can take this pain, and I will compare the spells, see what they're going to do. I will join you right there. Okay, I have randomly picked out Zafaria as the testing grounds, and I'm going to Tick Tick's Hut here. The reason I'm going to Tick Tick's Hut here is if I believe the boss in here is a sun boss, and therefore... Um, I don't remember offhand which schools this boss boosts to or doesn't boost to. I'm trying to get as much equality as possible in this. I don't want the boss to boost to either Storm or Myth, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, forgive me if it ends. To make things as equal as I possibly can, again, I got a 4-pip treasure card um, from, from the Crown Shop, or from the Crown Shop, from Elix, for uh, the Myth spell to use as a comparison spell. And I got a myth, I have a myth, myth mastery amulet so that I'm not waiting more turns for the pips as, as far as all that goes. I'm trying to basically here make it as equal as possible. I unfortunately have to be, sorry myth guys, sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I really am. I have to be a little bit unfair to myth because I don't have a myth character. And therefore I don't have all the normal character boosts for myth like I would. But then again, I don't have either, I don't have the boost for either spell either the spellment that I made or the treasure card that I got. So I'm trying to make it as equal as possible. We'll see what happens in here now. All right, I'm in with the boss now. I'm going to go ahead and do the myth test first. All I'm going to do is get enough power to power up the spell, and I'm going to hit the boss with it and see what damage it does. And we'll do commentary on the individual spell effects at the end of the fight. All right, let's go ahead and do the myth one first. Again, I'm just going to hit the boss. I'm not going to worry about the minion because the minion is a marked school. And, well, there you have it. All right, Splash Squash, being as I have the Mastery Amulet on right now, I can do Splash Squash right away. I'm not adding any uh, TC boosts to it. I'm just doing it as it is. This spell does 430 to 490 for four pips. See, so yeah, he's casting fire and storm and ice, or life, so, yeah. And here is the spell, by the way. 
524 is what I got for that. All right, let me draw up a TC. I've got Humongo Frog. It'll take me a second to get that. Or Keeper of the Flame. Keeper of the Flame is closer in damage to the Splash Squat, so let's try that one. We'll pass for a turn. Ah, he fizzles too. Ah, <laughs> Okay, Keeper of the Flame. This is a TC version, not the regular version. So, again, we're not going to be exactly square on the numbers, but we're going to be close. Uh, Splash Watch was, was 430-ish. 30 points isn't too much of a difference. Four twenty eight, so about a hundred points less. All right, I'm gonna flee this battle now and we're gonna talk about this spell. I'm not going to do Humongo Frog. Humongo Frog, while doing less damage, does it to all enemies, which obviously puts it at a marked advantage to the other spell. So we're not gonna use that. We're just gonna do single target, single target, and talk about that. All right, let me flee out of here and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, as you saw in the Myth demo, the Splash Squash did quite well. It did 100 points more than the Keeper of the Flame in just straight damage. The advantages to it are, of course, that it's a nice hitting spell for four pips. It really is. The disadvantages to it is number one for me, and this is a disadvantage for me as far as I'm concerned. This fact that it has a damage range. Uh, RNG... <laughs> RNG in this game, rip-off number generation, determines a lot of things. And if it determines that you should have the minimum damage a bunch of times, well, then you're getting the minimum damage a bunch of times. If you get lucky and get the maximum damage a bunch of times, you're doing quite well for your four pips, quite well. The Keeper of the Flame also, as a comparison spell, has the added effect of dropping a trap, where this one does not have any extra spell effects. So, to me... The, this misspell Splash Watch, honestly, not being a myth player and and to put not too fine a point on it, not knowing enough to, to really say about myth, I think it's a, it's a fine spell. I think it's worth the 10 bucks that you had to give for it. And especially given the fact that you can upgrade that to do even more as you go along. So yeah, I, I, I think I have to give this one, give this one a yes vote. The actual spell animation, uh, it's interesting. But it's not as... Uh, me, I like me some splash, some flash, some cash on my spell animations. The spell animation for this one, I would rate it... Eh, I would rate it a 6, 7 maybe. It's cool, but it's not that cool. Alright, let's go ahead now and move on to the Storm School spell. The Beery Surprise. Okay, this time we're going to be comparing the Storm spells. I've got everything set up. My gear is normal. My spells are going to be... The Berry Surprise at 585 damage or 585 life. And the Kraken at 520 to 580. There's that damage range thing again. We will do the fight and then we will do a comparison of the spells and talk about the pros and cons at the end of this fight. Let me go ahead now and get into this. I did this fight once already, but in the fight that I did previous to this, he had up a shield for one and he didn't have up a shield for the other. So I don't feel that was really a fair comparison. I want to try to get him to do it. Or either has shields for both or shields for neither. Go ahead and get in here and fight him up. Okay. 
Okay, being a storm, of course, I'm already powered up, ready to go. I'm going to do the Beery Surprise first. We have 585 damage or 585 life. We have 520 to 580 damage on the Kraken. Now, again, single target spells. We're trying to make these as comparable as possible. That's why I'm not using Squall Wyvern because it hits everything and only costs uh, only costs four and does a lot more damage. Let me go ahead hit, hit him before I run out of time here. Three thousand twenty-four. Woo! I thought he, he was mad. <laughs> he said, "Hey, man!" Scarecrow, of course. Okay, I've got to wait one turn to get my extra pit for Kraken, so I'll do that now. Okay, we got Kraken. That's 520 to 580. Two thousand eight hundred forty-six, and that put him down too. <laughs> Oof! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flee this fight, and we're gonna talk about these spells. All right, in the comparison there, I thought that I was going to not like Beery Surprise. I honestly did. I uh, saw that five eighty-five damage or five eighty-five life thing, and I wasn't liking it much because well, let's let's look at it here. I was thinking that was going to be 585 damage or 585 life, and I was going to get life a lot of the time. I want to get life when I cast for life, and I want to get damage when I'm casting for damage, and I don't really want to have to guess which one I'm going to get, because I'll tell you now, leaving stuff up to rip off number generation on this game often leads to doom. Often leads to doom. There are a lot of times where a random number generation decides when you get a Shadow Pip, which is always one turn too late, or uh, determines how fast you get, uh, whether you get a Power Pips or not, if you don't have 100%. You can have a 99% Power Pip rating and get White Pips all day long, all day long. So I don't like leaving things up to random chance. I really don't. That's my biggest drawback for this spell. I don't want to go with 585 damage or 585 life. I'd rather just have the 585 flat damage and not even worry about having heals on this spell. I would really prefer that. That being said, it did well, well outperform the Kraken in damage. It really did. And I've got to give it that. Again, with the Kraken on the 4 pip spell, it's a spell range thing. If Kraken didn't do the 580, and instead did the 520 frequently, you would find it underperforming Beery Surprise if, and that's if, Beery Surprise did damage way more frequently than it did life. I think that with either one of these two spells, you're going to find situations where you just got left hanging. You don't need 585 heals if you're full health. You don't need 585 damage if you're trying to heal desperately because you're about to die. So that's the biggest drawback I have to this spell. The second biggest drawback is, I don't know if you'll notice or not, it's 65% accuracy, whereas Kraken and our other spells are 70% accuracy. Uh, Queen Calypso is another crafted spell, so it's at 65. But all of our, uh, okay, well, Kantalan, you can craft that too, or get it as a drop. Um... All of our other stuff. Okay, this one's a crafted spell too at 70%. See, that's what it, I don't know what that 65% thing is about. And for the most part, won't hurt you being as a lot of these accuracy things like over accurate you. You know, you have 110% or 115%. So if you're a max, it won't bother you. But if you're down there low where, you know, a, a real low level where every percentage point of accuracy counts, then you might have some trouble with it. That's my two co my two cons to it. My pros are it does when it hits it hits hard hard. You saw what was going on in there. I said, "Woo, boys, that thing smoked." The animation again. It was kind of neat right there at the beginning. I thought I was casting Grendel's Amends though. <laughs> I really did. All right, 
So that is the storm comparison. I'm going to go ahead now and switch over to the life character and do the uh, bandit. And we'll, we'll check that out. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back here in Zafaria once again with my life this time. I have not crafted the camp bandit on my life yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's see, where's this going to be? Uh, probably up in the end. There we go, camp bandit. Okay, 295 damage. Convert that to self, to life and self. Okay, upgrade. Yes, most definitely. I'm kind of curious what Melinda and uh, Diego have to say because whenever I pop a spell for the other ones, I didn't get that. I'm not going to see what they say. You have gained your first heal over time spell. Wait, what? I thought I had those. I, uh, don't I? Wait, 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 hang on. The sprite spell will heal what? a small amount <laughs> you cast it and then heal a larger amount over the next three rounds of combat. Uh, Bobby Ray, that was not the sprite spell. Hello there. Glitch. Glitch. Central. Spells that heal over time can be very helpful, so make sure to use them wisely. Okay. Let's see what Diego's got to say. You have gained a new rank of spells now. <laughs> okay, then. Um, y'all do know that this character is a max? And that, like, I have higher rank spells than Camp Bandit. Alrighty then. That's uh, quite amusing. Alrighty then. Let me, <laughs> let me go ahead and put this spell in there while they're being ridiculous. Alright. Uh, let's see. Camp Bandit. There we go. 295 damage. Convert to self. To life of our Okay. Okay. Um, let me put in a comparison spell. We need a 5 pip spell. That's a healer there. I would like a 5 pip damage spell. And I really don't have one. I really don't have one here. So. Hmm. What would we do here? Rattatasker spin would be a damage. All right, I'm, I'm finding this a little bit tough to do. Sy Seraph does, like, way more, of course. Uh, Rattatus here, Spin does more to everybody, of course. So I'm not really finding a fair comparison there. All right, I'm going to try to find the closest damage I can to. 295. 295. Probably would be nature's wrath. All right. I'm having a really tough time with the comparison here. So I'm going to go ahead and run the spell and see what it does and see how it compares to whatever else I may have in my inventory. And then once I do that, I'll try to find a comparison spell to use. All right, let me go ahead and get in there and actually use this spell and see what we got. Okay, we are inside. We're going to do the battle, and then we'll talk about the spell after the fact, just like we have been doing before. I really want to see what the effects of this are. I'm, I'm reading off the card, but it's not the same as seeing it in your, in your head. Or not the same as seeing it with your eyes, I mean. 295, no boost on it, just shooting it the way it is. I'm, of course, not going to cast that on the death because it would be a boost. Okay, of the animations, I like him the best so far. Dang. Okay. So it did, let's see, 37, 37, 49, 65. All right, let's talk about this spell. It did, for me as a life, 1,228 damage. Not too bad. I, I was thinking from how they described this spell there was going to be life, but I, I'm not sure where the convert thing come in or, or what, what have you. The problem that I have with it as far as a test of this spell is there's not really a comparison. There's really not a five-pip spell that works like this. The animation, I love it. Of all three spells, I like the, that animation the best. It's, it, it's cute, it's lively, it's colorful. 
I really do <laughs> I really do like the animation for this spell. So I would really rate that higher, probably eight or nine. It's rare to find a ten, but definitely an eight or nine for the animation of the spell. For the damage, uh, twelve hundred and twenty eight is not it's not terrible bad for a life spell, especially five pips. Not terrible bad. So I would say of all three spells so far, that overall I like this life spell camp bandit the best. And is it worth ten bucks? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. If you if you were opening packs, yeah, I would have to say it's it's a good spell. If you're going to spend the money for it, by all means. If you're trying, if you're shooting for anything, that's the one I would pick. Definitely the Camp Bandit. All right, guys. That's a that's an overview of the spells. You all got to see what, how they are in action. What we talk about, what kind of damage they do, the pros and the cons. Let me see if there was any cons. I want to check one more time, double check to make sure there was no cons to that spell. Okay. Uh, it did 1228 damage. I'm not sure where the converting comes in. Um. So I really can't speak to that because I'm, I wasn't seeing anything. I mean, I just saw straight damage. That's all I saw. Um, honestly, the, uh, not really a lot of cons to this spell. Not really. I can't find... I mean, sure, you could say, hey, you know, uh, that Rattatosphere spin for four pips, which is less, does more damage. Sure, you could say that. But then again, this isn't Rattatosphere spin. It's a different spell. Uh, for Seraph, Seraph that does a fair amount more damage for less pips, sure, you can say that. Damage-wise, I would say that that's really the only con to it. It's lower in damage for the amount of pips you have to use. But other than that, it's a really nice spell. <coughs> Excuse me. So I would have to rate this the highest of the three spells. Guys, that's going to be it for my analysis of the new uh, Ravenwood Ranger pack spellments. Take it as you will. So sometimes with a grain of salt for what I say, by all means do that. This is what I think. This is what I saw. This is what I reported to y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, share, yell my name to the heavens, name your firstborn pet. Yeah, I want to say pet because too many people giving me hell about naming their firstborn son scale. <laughs> yeah, name your firstborn pet after me. How about that? That'd be great. And until next time, whatever else you do, Always love the game. Peace. As a quick postscript to this, by the way, just in case you have any questions about this, hit me up in the comments with them. I, I, this, this is new and unexplored with these spellments, and I really want to hash them out and know them and understand them as well as possible. So if one of y'all has a comment about this video, by all means, hit me up. I would like to know. Thanks.